What's up guys, Flippin' Steve. Downtown here in the 302 at the post office. I've been living here lately due to Daisy and the Crazy Daisy stickers. More of these to drop off. And this will probably be my last trip for these because they are all but gone. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about parallels. We all know that there's so many parallels and there's more and more being made every year. So I'm gonna to try to make sense out of some of the confusion and basically just talk about the ones that I tend to target when I'm looking for raw cards that I wanna grade or even cards that are already slabbed. I'll show you guys some cards that come in the mail. Show you guys this card first and not because who it is, but because of where it came from. This is a Desmond Ritter out of five, a gold Don Russ clearly. But this arrived yesterday from Com C. I actually placed the order for this on March 17th and yesterday was March 26th. So that's way less than eight or nine business days for me to get this card. And I've seen multiple videos out there and people talking about Com C taking forever with their cards. But I think people are just talking by hearsay. Not to say that people aren't having issues. I'm just saying that I think a lot of people are going by what they hear and not exactly what is happening to them. You guys can comment below if you've had any Com C issues. Because I'm not saying that they don't exist. But I myself have purchased multiple cards recently and haven't had any shipping issues. And a lot of the people talking about shipping issues are just getting their info from other people. And I'm expecting my dad and my brother to visit. And by the sound of the dingus, they must be here. Where are you, hoes, girl? <laughs> to start this off, when I start talking about these parallels, I'm going to be referring to mainly Prism, Optic Select, and Mosaic. The four products that really matter when it kind of comes to color. I'm going to be talking upper echelon stuff and autographs and RPAs and things like that. It's mainly talking your chromium based cards that are going to be serial numbered and have different colors. So now that I said serial number, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm not going to talk about one of ones because again, those are going to all be collectible. But what I am going to start off talking about is going to be the golds. I love gold. There's all kinds of golds out there. There's what they call the true gold. There's the gold flashes, the gold discos, the gold shimmers. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. There's all kinds of gold, gold, gold. And the golds across those four products are going to all be pretty collectible with your true gold, of course, being number one. Most of them are going to be numbered out of 10. You may see some that are the T-Malls or the Asian products numbered out of 14, 8, 24, or random numbers. When you're buying the true golds. Almost all true golds have become pricey and collectible. Sometimes it doesn't even matter who the player on it is. It's just the fact that people are collecting the gold parallel itself. With that being said, of course, if it's a good rookie or a rookie card at all, or a highly collectible player, they're going to be very, very pricey and very, very sought after. General rule of thumb for myself, if I see any of those four products in any kind of gold variation, numbered really low, maybe 20 or less. I'll tend to try to purchase those cards of collectible players, especially if they're good raw copies that I can grade. I'm gonna hit the figgity fee bizzle to show you guys this mosaic black gold prism out of eight of Chris Jones. The seller has two of these. They want 60 bucks a piece. However, if I can get them both for a combined 80 bucks, this is a deal I would like to have. Not many people dabble in the defensive player market, but this is a player that would be collected by a Kansas City Chief fan in a gold, graded up, type of item that I'm hunting for. You're even going to see green prisms, especially in the select product that are numbered out of five. And just because they're numbered lower does not mean they're more desirable than the golds, although they are nice cards to have. Now that we've got the gold out of the way, let's talk about a couple products and their individual parallels that they may have. One that I really like out of the optic product is called the Black Pandora. Back on the fee bizzle, checking out a Black Pandora of Miles Garrett, numbered out of 25. I've been counter-offered $24. I'd like to pick this card up for about $20. That is what would make sense for me. It's a very cool pattern, which is aesthetically appealing. They're normally numbered out of $25. It's a cool name. Regardless of what you may think, a cool name matters. The human psyche, if something just sounds neat, if something just sounds cool, a lot of times it'll make people desire it. Who's this right here? That's Big John Stud. Cool name like Black Pandora, low serial numbered, aesthetically appealing. It just all adds up to me as a card that I like to buy. Now, another one of your products to select, which is now loaded with so many different parallels, but one that is still very popular is going to be the tie-dye. They are also numbered out of 25. They're going to have the tie-dye design. And for some reason or another, whether it's the name, whether it's the look, whether it's the serial number, whether it's all that stuff combined, those tend to be very popular on the secondary market. Also, anything that is typically a color match and serial number is going to be very desirable. So at any given time, any parallel could actually draw a premium because it's a color match, even though overall that parallel may not be very desirable. But when it goes with the player's uniform, it then makes it more collectible because of the aesthetics. These could be anything, red, blue, green, orange, 
white. Here's some photos of a Tom Brady select white prism that I just picked up. Not only is it a color match, but it is also numbered out of 35. All the different color prisms out there. Aim for the serial numbers and don't fall into the trap of buying color matches that aren't serial numbered. Prism has a very known parallel called the red, white, and blue. And with some players such as a Josh Allen or even now a CJ Stroud, those would technically be color matches. However, because they're not serial numbered, not really that rare, they don't tend to draw the premiums of other color match cards. In fact, your basic silver parallels from Prism are going to draw a higher premium than those red, white, and blues. Along those same lines, out of the select product, you're going to find what is called the tri-color Prism. And every now and then, just by chance, they will tend to match a player's jersey, making it a color match. One example is the 2018 Trey Young rookie cards out of that set. However, the basic silver parallels are still going to be more valued and desirable. Now, for some reason or another, another popular pattern that comes out of the select product is going to be the dragon scale. You want this dragon? Oh! More than likely, this one has popularity because it is serial numbered. However, they are random, but they typically stay under 100. And they do have a very cool, shiny look to them. Here's a good look at a select dragon scale parallel, numbered out of 88. My dad wanted Chinese buffet for his birthday, so it looks like it's going to be chicken ten ways today. Got my uh, fortune here. Better to beg than to steal, but better to work than to beg. We're back. Going to check the mail. Hopefully I got some cards. And it'll take less than ten minutes for my dad to be passed out on my couch. Two packages, but I believe only one of these is a card. Getting prepped for Off Centered, so you know that it's Wednesday night. I hope to see you at the live stream. But what were we talking about? We were talking about parallels. Before I wrap up talking about the serial number parallels, I got to mention Prism Hypers and the Prism Mojos. Those have really started to gain popularity in the last couple of years as they are also serial numbered. And at one point, they weren't even as popular as the Silvers. However, they are starting to carry some premiums due to the serial numbers and also the nice patterns that they have on them. As you can see here, the Hyper and the Mojo. They do get pricey, so they're typically cards that I don't tend to mess around with just because I don't like to put forth the initial investment that it takes. They're more of a bigger gamble, but they do have bigger upside and they are very popular. I also talked about the Black Pandoras, which means I have to mention the Black Velocities that come out of Optic. Now in basketball, these are going to be numbered out of 39. And in football, they're typically going to be numbered out of 25. They're going to have the black borders just like the black Pandoras. However, they're going to have the laser effect on them that you typically have on all your multicolored velocity cards. It seems like anything that has the word black in the name that's a parallel is popular. Maybe because it's a play off of the black finite one of ones or because black is just a popular color. Living Steve t-shirt. There are also other numbered parallels out there that I'm not really going to get into much, but these are known as hybrids where you're going to have two different parallels that mesh into one to form a whole nother parallel and a whole nother serial number. This may be a red disco, or a green disco, or a red mojo, or a blue mojo, or a shimmer with a color. The list goes on and on and on because when you have so many color parallels and so many pattern parallels, you can just mix them up and pretty much make anything that you want. That's kind of what Panini has done, and that's why I'm putting this video out to just try to emphasize some of the ones that are the most popular in the market. Now there are also some very popular patterns or parallels out there that aren't serial numbered. A lot of times they're going to say that these are case hits. Now remember, the rarity of a case hit is going to be relative to the print run of that product. Nonetheless, a lot of these are very popular and you're going to have all kinds of different animal skins, snake skin, tiger skin, zebra skin, foreskin, elephant skin. Is there a giraffe skin? I think there might even be a giraffe skin. If we're getting a ton of them, you get the point. Most of the animal skin or animal patterns are going to be desirable for one reason or another. Some people just like the mix of the pattern with sports cards. Another one that's going to mainly run across your prism and your optics is going to be your white sparkles. Also looking at this Miles Garrett optic white sparkle on the fee bizzle. Don't pay attention to the players that I'm buying. That's not what's important. What is important is I'm just trying to show you the parallels. I'm not sure if their case hits today because maybe Panini did away with the points. But at one time, you had to get them through the white sparkle packs, they called them. And they were really tough to get, really desirable. And there was rumors that there was only 20 of each made. However, there is no serial number or nothing to back that up. Also in select, going to have the Cosmics, which are amazing looking. Here is a Cosmic parallel. Again, not serial numbered, but considered case hits. But used to fall along the same lines of being in the Panini points packs. 
Again, they have a cool name, the Cosmic. They have a really, really good look, so it makes people want to collect them. My wristbands and passes have come in for the Shaky Knees Music Festival. I'll be attending this in Atlanta next month. My wife is really excited to see Foo Fighters. I really want to rock out the Billy Idol 80s icon. Should be a good time. And I'll probably check out Carge HQ while I'm in the area. If anybody else is going to be at the Shaky Knees Music Festival, hit me up on Instagram and let me know. Another fairly new and popular parallel from the Prism product is going to be the checkerboard. You're going to have a red and a black checkerboard. There's also a white and a black checkerboard. And basically the pattern is just like a checkerboard that you would play checkers on. These are going to be case hits and they can also be a color match. Des Ritter Rookie here is an example of the Prism black and white checker. Also in this case, it is a color match. Optic used to also put out a checkerboard that was more of an atomic refractor style, if you remember from the 90s. However, I feel like they have kind of either lost popularity, I just don't see people really talking about them as much, and I don't see them drawing the premiums on the market that they used to. Of course, no card is drawing the premiums that they used to draw. There are also so many new parallels coming along. I mean, Optic is even putting out parallels that have emojis on them, like rockets and fire. Fire. Hey, you want to see something really cool? <laughs> <laughs> it could actually lead to a prospecting opportunity to where you're not only prospecting on a player, you're actually prospecting on, hey, can this new parallel actually become one that is popular within the market? Which would give you a chance to maybe buy some of these before they become popular and give you a flip opportunity. One thing that I definitely have to mention before I close out this video is when you're buying your parallels, you have to be careful of surface flaws. And this is mainly going to be print lines with all these different patterns and all these different crazy designs. You're going to have a lot of manufacturer print lines coming straight off the press. It's going to be harder to see your scratches. It's going to be harder to see your surface dimples. That not only goes for you, but that probably goes for the grader grading your cards as well. You have to be very mindful especially with some of these parallels that are notorious for print lines. To wrap the video, there's too many parallels for me to just talk about in one video. I'm just talking about the ones that I notice that are popular and the ones that I like to buy and grade. And there may be some completely different for you guys, and I'm very interested to know, so drop your comments. You know which ones I'm overlooking, which ones I'm forgetting. And as always, take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video.